right guys so this is it these are the new running boards and they are made by Go Rhino these are the Go Rhino six foot Dominator D6 cab length black running boards now the cool thing about these particular running boards is first off the whole entire look is completely different than most running boards that you see it has the black powder coating on it I like the fact that they're easy access for in and out of the truck um, they have a raised punch pattern uh, for extra grip that's like that that uh, the holes that you see punched out in here um, the coating on it is well is well done and it gives you enough length to actually get in and out of the truck um, so for example I don't have to you know skip over a step or skip over it completely uh, I basically can put my foot in and you can see I wear a size 12 my entire foot can fit on this so it actually is useful it's not something that's just for show uh, so I just push up hop myself on up in here and when getting out of the vehicle uh, you know I can just put my heel down on it or I can put my entire foot on it that actually gives me that clearance now um, when exiting the truck I will say I do use it so for example I push up on it and I get out this way but if you decide that you don't need it then this does kind of get in the way if you're trying to sliding out so for example if I get in the truck and then I decide not to use the step and bypass it then it is going to rub against your legs on there and uh, but I will say this powder coating protects it from the heat it does get warm but it's not burning hot like if I touch the actual um, outside of the of the truck or let's say the uh, bed cover it's hot like I can't even touch it but my skin is literally on this thing and it's not burning at all so just wanted to kind of throw that in there but yeah it's well made really really different type of running board it all actually looks like sliders a little bit um, from afar but yeah it's um something different man I wanted to go with something different on this truck looks really good let me just see right quick how hot this is oh shit yeah see definitely can't do that um, let me show you just from a side angle this is pretty much how it looks from the side angle um, you can see it does have it does stick out a little bit which is good because again I want it to be purposeful I want it to be useful I'm actually going to use it for what it's for not just for decoration or show and again I got this really because um, everyone else has pretty much the same running boards everyone has the predator steps everyone has the tiger running boards or everyone has the stock ones that it came with I have not seen anybody with these as of yet but uh, I'm really glad I made this purchase what I want to do though is show you um, I'm gonna give you just another view from the side kind of show you how these look just from different angles of the truck I didn't want to do an installation video because it would have taken too long and even with editing it was more of a pain to get these things on because I really didn't understand how to do it but now that I've installed them I completely understand how to put these on and save you probably half the time so my first advice for you is to get another person to help um, I did install one by myself the other one I decided uh, I need some help and if you get two people to do it you will do it in half the time no doubt um, if you follow these steps you can I would say you'll be able to get both of these running boards on within 30 minutes uh, if you want to do it yourself trial and error that's fine it took me about an hour and 20 minutes to get them on because I didn't really know what I was doing at first um, it's not your average running board and I'll tell you why so the first thing it comes with all the hardware you need you don't need to use your existing Tacoma bolts just put everything away save them for later first thing you need to understand is that it's going to have these things on it which are the mounts these these um, brackets or mounts right here there's going to be six of these in the box uh, it's going to come with this is the center one you'll see the one on the rear and then I will show you the one in the front 
right here. So these mounts um, come with their own bolts. You'll see that the silver bolts go in the actual holes of the frame. The black bolts will go uh, into the actual running board mount that connects to the actual running board. Um, so once you get those on, and you, you're gonna put those on first, and it's pretty much self-explanatory on where they go. Um, but if you, if you don't or can't figure it out, just kind of follow exactly what I have here. Okay, so on the running board itself, there's a hole right here. And in this hole, there are gonna be three sliding pieces that go into the hole. These sliding pieces are what bolts the running board onto this mount. So for example, this is the center piece, and you'll see the two black bolts are bolted on this sliding piece right here. There's a hole open that's left empty right here. The reason why that is is because that slides and it slides so that you can actually mount the running board in the best position that's best for you on your truck. I've tried many different ways to mount this and the setup that I have that I'm showing you now is going to be the easiest way to mount this to the frame of the truck. So with the centerpiece, I am now looking at the driver left side running board. Again, just keep that in mind. This is the driver side running board. So the centerpiece, if this is the hole, what you're going to do when you slide this mounting uh, bracket in here, two bolts are going to go on the back and then make sure the one on the right right here is empty. Okay, that's the centerpiece. The front piece is different. The front piece, you'll see that the sliding um, piece right here the two black bolts bolt onto the rear and there's one empty one in the front. So make sure you set it up that way for the front. This is actually right by the driver's side, by the pedals, where your feet would go. And then on the rear of the driver's side, this is the way it looks. You're gonna have an empty hole here in the front and the sliding bracket will have two black bolts in the back for the rear. Now you'll see the end of this, of this um, running board where that rubber oval is lines up almost perfectly where the end of the actual truck frame is right there so that should line up perfectly in the back and then in the front again this is the driver's side just keep that in mind that rubber oval starts or ends right here so there's a good number I can probably put about I mean I can put my whole hand in between right here but you need to have some space. I have about two fingers worth of space right here. This should not be touch, touching this and this should not be that close to it. So if you line it up the way that I lined it up, it should be exactly enough space for you to uh, mount the running board with no problem. Now, looking at the other side, when you look at the passenger side running board, it should be mounted pretty much the same way, just the opposite. So it should look exactly like the driver's side. If you can see in the rear, the two black bolts are on the uh, back end of the slider. And then you'll see one empty um, circle in the front. The center is the same way. The center piece goes into the hole. It now, since it's on the passenger side, it's gonna go on the left side of the hole. And then you'll see the empty circle um, in the front. And then in the front of the passenger side, you will see the slider with the empty hole and then the two black bolts bolting in place uh, in the front. So basically it's the mirror image of how you do the driver's side. It should be exactly the same. If you mount them up this way, that is how the easiest way and the best way that this running board is gonna fit on the truck. If you, and I'm telling you, I've tried to play around with it and slide it different types of ways, different types of length. The way the setup that I have right now is the best way that it's going to work. If you, you know, you can try it yourself if you want, but I guarantee you, you may be wasting some time if you don't bolt it the same way that I bolt it. Um, as far as leaving the holes that I'm telling you that are open, um, if you do it differently than that. But you know, it's up to you. I'm just kind of trying to help you guys if you decide to go with these. To me, it just seems like they could have come up with a different type of system to bolt this thing on. They, they definitely made it a little bit more difficult and easier. But again, it looks great once it is bolted on. So that's about it, guys. Again, this is the 
Go Rhino D6 Dominator running board. Um, really, really cool looking. Really, really sleek. Uh, I may or may not, you know, black out that Go Rhino silver part, but for right now, it's cool. Um, I would give an update on it if I do see any problems with it, meaning any rust or any type of corrosion or give or if it actually starts to um, if it starts to uh, sink in uh, I'll let you guys know but for right now everything is good to go on it I have no problems with it and so um, I'll definitely do a follow-up if I have any problems if not then I probably won't do another video on them but until then I think these are these are gonna be uh, good to go all right guys that's it I'll check you guys out in the next video peace